Welcome and greetings everyone. Uh, I usually don't do this whole like intro thing because you already know why you're here, but um, hey, hi. My name is John Crom. I'm from the Crom Real Estate team. We put out videos every week to help people learn about Central Oregon and more importantly, to help educate people on how to buy and sell real estate. So today I'm full, like blah. Yeah, really. I've eaten a bunch and boy, I'm feeling heavy. Why am I feeling bloated, you ask? Well, because we're doing another foodie video. Yes, you are correct. We did a Ben's Best food truck video, a food truck lot video uh, a week or so ago, and uh, a couple weeks ago, and now we're doing one on Ben's Best Brew Pubs. Why? I don't know. We had the idea, they both sounded cool, they both involved really good food and beer and, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Roll intro. A simple Google search will reveal that there are 22 breweries in Bend. Now, for a town of only 100,000 people, actually, just under 100,000 people, that's a ton. Now, not all of them have their own restaurants to go with them, so we don't have to talk about those. And again, for the interest of time, your attention span, and my food budget, uh, we're not gonna go to all of them. So sorry. So this is the top five, or just five, just five, Ben Brew Pubs, in no particular order. Deschutes Brewery. Now, for those of you who haven't officially moved to Bend yet, Deschutes Brewery is the original microbrew brewery here in town. It's all their fault. They started this whole thing off back in 1988 with the belief that a good pint of beer will bring people together. What an outrageous idea, right? Fast forward to today and Deschutes Brewery is no longer a microbrewery. It's one of the big boys. In fact, its beer can be found in 32 states, different states across the country. Most of the mainstream beers that Deschutes Brewery produces um, are named after some of the more iconic places and areas in and around Central Oregon, like Mirror Pond, Pale Ale, Black Butte, Porter, you get the drift. The restaurant is located right downtown on Bond Street and is as busy as ever with great food options, with great atmosphere, and with some great special release beers that can only be found at the downtown pub location. Boneyard. Now Boneyard is kind of a cool story. Boneyard was started in an old industrial part of town by a former employee of Deschutes Brewery. Boneyard scrapped together brewing parts from different breweries across the country in a, in a boneyard of scraps and pieces to create the brewery that we now have today. It's rugged and scrappy and, well, they have a highly refined sense of crafting IPAs. In fact, the RPM IPA, that's, that's just, that's what it's called, the RPM, is easily my go-to beer if I'm, you know, kind of not feeling the menu uh, for other things. I mean that for anywhere I go. But while I was there the other day, you know, um, getting footage for this video, I couldn't help but notice that like almost every beer they had on tap was an IPA. It's just like their thing. Yes, there are a lot of IPAs in Bend, but Boneyard, they brew the best. Now, not to be negative, but I'm not a huge fan of the food options at Boneyard. Now, the pub is relatively new. They were just a brewer before. Uh, and when it originally opened, they didn't have food at all. So we'll give them a little bit of a pass. Maybe they're still working that out. If you're looking for a really, really, really great meal, mm, that might be my only criticism. But, 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 remember I told you this story was cool? So Boneyard is so good at brewing IPAs that they were just recently acquired by Deschutes Brewery. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The former employee of Deschutes grows their own, goes out on their own and grows their own business and then later acquired by Deschutes. <laughs> Fun. Oh, and no worries. They're not gonna change Boneyard. They're gonna leave it and keep it its own thing. It's just sort of a mutual, um, you know, agreement. They get some more help and knowledge with their IPAs. Deschutes does and Boneyard gets the distribution that Deschutes has. Win-win. Worthy Brewing. Okay, now I don't have a really elaborate, cool origin story for Worthy, um, but I will say this. 
they kind of launched the whole operation and, and went for broke. It seems like most breweries, you know, kind of all follow the same pattern. They get started real small and then they grow and they're success of their beer. And then before you know it, then they, you know, get a bigger location and better equipment and then so on. And then they kind of grow on their own success. You understand. Well, Worthy, no. All I know about Worthy is when they opened, they built a massive building and restaurant and bottling plant all from the get-go and it's impressive. Were these beers pretty good, although I can't really say that they have a standout beer that you know everyone really loves that's amazing. The best part about Worthy is its location. It's like the only brewery of its nature to be on the east side, well, the far east side, with a great dining section, huge outdoor patio, and live music on the, the well, whenever live music returns from its COVID vacation. Although I didn't order them this time, sadly, uh, the steelhead fish tacos are amazing. Oh, and you should check out the Stargazing Observatory. Yeah, Worthy built an observatory at their location. <laughs> Crazy, right? Sun River Brewing. Born out of the tourist trap of Sun River. Ew, sorry, did that sound bad? I mean, I, I like Sun River, it's just, well, it is. Anyway, comes Sun River Brewing. Ask 12 different people what they like most about Sun River Brewing and you will get probably 10 different answers. The couple that'll be the same will revolve around their famous Wagyu beef sliders. They just, mm, they got like this uh, bacon jam relish thing that goes on it and oh. I'm still full from the last time I had them, which was like three weeks ago. <laughs> so the food is great there, and they do actually brew some really tasty beer. We talked about how Boneyard, you know, crushes on the IPAs. Well, you know, um, Sun River's Rippin and their uh, Vicious Mosquito beers, oh, those are also top notch. All right, Sun River, back to that. Well, right, like so many other breweries before them, they have become so successful that they now have more than one location. And of course, we get one right here in Bend. It's actually located right on Galveston in a really sweet location. And they just recently opened a location in Eugene. So for whatever reason, if you're over there, you gotta go get the uh, beef wagyu sliders and a vicious mosquito. Heaven for lunch or dinner. 10 barrel, yep, we saved those sellouts for last. <laughs> hey, if you didn't know, 10 barrel was recently bought, I don't know, a couple, few years ago, by Anheuser-Busch. Big news, big story, a lot of drama. Don't understand why. Since then, it's been great. Another fun story. You've heard of the, uh, you know, the American dream, that whole thing, right? Work hard, be successful, yada, yada. Well, a couple of brothers, they scratched together some money out of college to start a bar. Eh, I mean, it's not really my dream. But anyway, bar did pretty good. Bar was successful. They started brewing beer for said bar. Beer became successful. So then they started selling beer to other bars. Uh, fast forward a few years later, they sell the bar, focus exclusively on brewing beer, and years and years and years later, have built a really, really amazing brand, company, business, and was later bought by Budweiser. The good news is we're a few years into the sale and nothing has changed. The beer is still brewed in Bend and it is amazing. The restaurants still make incredible food. You'd like to make a cheese? Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, there's two locations, one on the west side and one on the east side. And locals can still take advantage of the local dock sales. Yeah, guys, my beer fridge is stocked full, always. So forget all the haters who don't know how hard it is to grow something so special from scratch, from the ground up. And congrats to the sale and many, many thanks for keeping it the same and cheers to 10 Barrel. Now, my biggest regret is that we couldn't really get to everybody. There are obviously a ton of really great establishments that we missed out on. Uh, we are deeply sorry, and maybe if we run out of video ideas in about six months to a year, we could do a part two in this series. You never know. 
Now I hope you got something out of this video or were at least mildly entertained. If so, do me a favor and go ahead and smash that like button if that's what you're into. Uh, consider subscribing so you can stay up to date on other things. And if you wanna know more about Bend, check out this playlist right over there or just the next video in line right down here. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. See ya.